Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install an OWC Mercury Excelsior Pro Q PCIe solid state drive in an early 2008 model Mac Pro. We've already gathered our materials, shut down, disconnected, and unplugged the Mac Pro, and we'll be working on a soft static free surface. We are now ready to begin. To open the Mac Pro, lift up on the latch on the back of the tower. Then, lean the side door forward slightly and lift the whole piece up and out. Next, you'll want to remove the hard drive carriers to give yourself some room to work. Loosen the two thumb screws on the PCIe slot cover plate. You can use your fingers if you wish, but depending on the tightness, a Phillips screwdriver may be easier. If your graphics card has a power connector, you'll want to disconnect it now. The card in this particular machine doesn't have one, so we can proceed to removing the card itself. Near the back of the PCIe slot, there's a small locking lever. Lift up on the lever as you pull the card out of the slot. We can now work on removing the fan unit. The first step is to remove the CPU heatsink cover. It's held on with some thin magnets, so you should just need to pull back on the top to separate the pieces, then pull it forward to remove it from the Mac Pro. Once you've removed the CPU cover, you'll be able to remove the silver Phillips screw in the lower corner of the fan unit. You may want to use a pair of tweezers so you don't accidentally drop the screw into the Mac Pro. The last screw to remove is near the top of the fan unit, holding it to the logic board. Again, tweezers may be helpful in keeping the screw from getting away from you. You can now pull forward on the fan unit to remove it from the Mac Pro. The last thing to do before installing your Pro-Q is to disconnect the 4-pin power connector in the upper left corner from its port on the logic board. Do this by pressing the small latch on the plug as you pull it out. On the power cable that came with your Pro-Q, find the 4-pin socket end. Take the cable you just disconnected and slide it into the socket so that this little hook lines up with the latch on the cable's connector. Once you've done that, take the other 4-prong connector on the cable and plug it into the port on the logic board so that the latch is facing down. Tuck the short end of the cable behind these wires so they don't get in the way, and we can begin reassembling the fan unit. Move the cable off to the side and set the fan unit roughly into place so that the cable runs through a gap behind it and not pinched against the board. Next, replace the black screw holding the top of the fan unit. Then the silver one at the bottom. You can now set the CPU heatsink cover back into place. You may have to adjust it slightly so that it sits flush. You can now reinstall your graphics card, sliding it back into place and reattaching the power cable if you have one. The Mercury Excelsior Pro-Q will function normally in any of the available PCIe slots. However, OWC recommends using a 16-lane slot for maximum performance. Since the graphics card takes up one of them, we'll need to put the Pro-Q in the other. Find the slot cover that corresponds to where you're going to place your card and remove it. There's a notch in the Pro-Q's connector that lines up with the pin in the PCIe slot. Line the two up and slide them together. On the back of the Pro-Q is a power connector. Attach the power cable you installed earlier here. Now we need to replace the PCIe slot cover plate. Make sure to insert it a little low, then move it upward so that it slides underneath the hook at the top. Once in place, use the thumb screws to secure the plate. Replace any drives you may have removed and we're ready to close up. 
Set the side door into place and make sure it's sitting flush with the case. Finally, close the latch to hold the door closed. You can now hook up your Mac Pro, plug it in, and turn it on.